Come promesso ho il piacere di farvi conoscere l'artista, pittore Frank Caracciolo. Benvenuto a Siamo. Ciao Sonia. Frank, io so che eh, la, tua, la tua arte è molto particolare. I tuoi dipinti sono astratti. Can you talk to us about your creative process? My process uh, being creative is, is something that you, uh, you start out with uh, in terms of painting is you, uh, you start out with sketching and drawing and, and then you apply paint and you play and you do a series perhaps and that's basically how I work in my process. But I mean the, the creative process is, there, is everything you do. So everywhere I go and the things I look at and I'm always trying to uh, take notes in my daily life wherever I am about uh, things I want to apply back to the painting when I get back to the studio. Is that where your inspiration comes from? from everyday life every, inspiration, experience inspiration comes from everything from every uh, everything I do every place I go the people I meet the different experiences from uh, moving from one city to another city uh, all of that uh, gets taken in and when I'm working all those things come out speaking of moving you've been uh, calling Montreal your home for the past uh, six years how was it moving from New York to Montreal it's uh, it's a difficult move I mean they're both great cities but I was born and raised in New York so uh, it's a big transition uh, I like uh, the experiences I'm having here and uh, I go back and forth quite often so it's it's been uh, it's at times it's a challenge and uh, but I'm finding it uh, to be very pleasant when it comes to the uh, to the um, artistic venue um, is Montreal very different from New York in terms of uh, opportunities yeah it is um, here I find it's easier to get around and show people your work and uh, bringing that New York kind of a hustle here. Yeah, I'm always working and constantly seeking other opportunities. And in New York you're one of millions of artists that are seeking those same opportunities. So here it's just uh, people a little bit more approachable as well. So it, it, it lends to, to uh, what I'm trying to do with my, my career as an artist. Now, can we really define art uh, abstract painting? Uh, I, I, that's a, it's a tough one to, uh, to just to define it because it's a lot of experience. I mean, for me, uh, abstraction is something that you, um, uh, it has a lot of history in, in painting and uh, there's different parts of abstract uh, painting that goes uh, back uh, a long, a long way, and for me, I'm just, uh, I just, it's, it's a way that it's easy to define it to other people who are maybe not so informed about art. So they, they, they say, oh, it's abstract. They don't really know what it means, and um, for, for me, it's just, it's a genre of painting that I really uh, uh, love. I mean, I, I was trained classically. I'm in figure, to figure painting, painting the model, uh, but I, I really enjoy uh, just letting loose with the color and just uh, letting things explode across the canvas. What is your main concern? Do you have a main concern when you're painting? Absolutely not. I'm just, uh, I'm concerned with working. I like, I like the actual act of painting is, is really my concern, if, you, if there was one. And the outcome is really, it's the second thing. It's really the act of painting that I'm attracted to and just being in the moment of what I'm doing when I'm working. How long can it take to complete one painting? Do you have to be really patient? It's, uh, that's the most famous question I think <laughs> that, that artists get. Um, I, I don't know how to answer that. And you know, it's, uh, Some days I'll work constantly and some days uh, I'll leave a canvas uh, for weeks and come back to it. Sometimes I'll do something for an hour and I'll feel like it's done. So time is, uh, it's just something that I, I really don't really focus on, you know. Frank, your work is being uh, displayed at Parcours des Arts. It's a summer-long uh, exhibit. What's next? Next, I, I have uh, some of the paintings that are in this show are actually being uh, a fashion designer here from Montreal named Amabile is uh, taking three of the paintings and she's turning them into silk scarf, uh, scarves for women. And uh, they'll be probably in stores in the fall. Is that something you were looking into doing or was it a surprise for you? It was a surprise. I, I had an art exhibit in Westmount in, here in Montreal and uh, the designer was in the, uh, at the show and then we just got into conversations and we just thought it would be a great collaboration. And uh, the dimensions of the painting actually resemble uh, a woman's scarf and, you know, scaled down. So she's just scaling up the exact paintings and then taking them, putting them on silks and uh, we're going to see what happens with that. I'm very excited about that. Well, Montreal has been very nice to you. Yeah, it's been, it's been a great city and uh, I'm looking forward to more opportunities like this. So. Well, we're looking forward to uh, looking, uh, appreciating your exhibit. Frank, è stato davvero un piacere. Grazie mille e tanti auguri per questa avventura. Grazie.